Hi everyone, welcome to Desperate India. So in this session, we will learn about profit, loss and discount. So we are already aware of this topic since our childhood. But once again, we will revise the basics and we will solve different problems. We will apply all the formulae in problems. So uh, as far as formulae is concerned, don't worry about those formulae. You just need to have an idea on the concept and a few formulae so that you can apply in any problem you can do any problem by using those formulae so let's get into the concept of profit and loss so some basic uh, terms that come under this is profit the selling price cost price loss so what is selling price let's say you you purchased a pen for 10 rupees from a shopkeeper then this 10 rupees is known as the selling price let's say the shopkeeper purchase from a wholesaler for 8 rupees so he purchased that pen for 8 rupees and and, and then he sold this 8 rupee pen to you for 10 rupees so this one will be the cost price this one will be the selling price and the 2 rupee margin is the profit for this shopkeeper right so here if you observe the cost price is less than the selling price that's the reason why the shopkeeper got the profit if you had sold this 8 rupee pen for 6 rupees for you then he would have incurred 2 rupee loss why because here in this case the cost price is more than the selling price so whenever a cost price is more than selling price we will get loss and whenever selling price is more than cost price then we will get profit so we all are aware of these uh, concepts so i will write down some formulae so with those formulae, just, just remember that concept and formula, you can solve any problem that come under profit and loss. Okay. So the first one is profit is equal to SP minus CP. Percentage profit is SP minus CP by CP into 100. We will compare percentage profit and percentage loss with only with CP. Percentage loss is CP minus SP by cp so what is loss loss means cp minus sp right whenever someone gets loss then what does this, that mean the cost price is more than the selling price so in that case a person incurs a loss so profit percent is equal to uh, sp minus cp by cp to 100 which means which also means profit percentage is equal to profit by cp into 100 right so whereas loss percent is equal to cp minus sp by cp which also means loss percent is equal to loss by cp into 100 we can also write like this and for profit percent we have one more um, concept one for one more formula formula we can use this in some problems just remember this profit percent is equal to goods left by goods sold into 100 see we will solve each and every problem from uh, each and every formula okay we will apply all these formulae in the problem so that you can learn how to use this formulae okay so this is the first one second third fourth so selling price is equal to 100 plus gain percent by 100 into cost price whereas selling price is equal to 100 minus loss percent by 100 into cost price this is the case with the gain percentage that is profit percent and this is the case with the loss percent so please make a note of these six formulae now we shall look into the markup price and discount so what is meant by markup price it is the price in which uh, we can uh, see that on the label of a product right so whenever we purchase a product on that label we can see the price that is known as the markup price so markup price is a combination of the cost price and the taxes and the profit margin everything so generally markup price is put on the goods on the products in in order not to suffer loss due to bargaining so that is why markup price is a combination of all the prices all the taxes and everything including the profit percentage profit margin so what we can do market price is equal to the cost price plus some markup right some markup let's say if a product is 10 rupees right this the, the mrp of the product is 10 rupees then 10 rupees includes the cost price of the product it also includes the taxes it also includes the profit uh, margin 
right so each and everything is uh, get included in this 10 rupees so this 10 rupees this 10 rupee markup is a combination of cost price and some markup price let's say the cost price if the cost price is 8 rupees then the markup will be 2 rupees if the cost price is 7 rupees then the markup will be 3 rupees right so markup is is equal to cost price plus some markup so which also means cost price plus percentage of markup on the cost price right so if if we take this example 8 plus 2 so this is cp 8 is cp plus 2 rupees is um, markup which is some percentage of this 8 rupees so overall 8 plus 2 is 10 so what about discount let's take the same example here we have 10 rupees the price of the product is 10 rupees the markup is 10 rupees now if the shopkeeper gives you a 1 rupee discount then after giving 1 rupee discount he sells it for 9 rupees then that 1 rupee discount from this markup price is known as the discount 1 rupee reduction right from this markup so discount is always calculated on market price and markup is always calculated on the basis of on the basis of cost price so cost price plus something is known as markup and markup minus something some reduction is known as discount so we can write this as uh, selling price is equal to the mar market price minus discount so which means market price minus percentage discount on market price right so here 10 rupee is the market price 1 rupee uh, reduction so 1 rupee discount is giving and you are purchasing for 9 rupees so this 9 rupees is the selling price so what is the selling price this 9 rupees how did we arrive at this 9 rupees 10 minus 1 right so 10 minus 1 so 10 is the market price 1 is the discount that's why we arrived at this 9 rupees which is known as the selling price so we have to make a special note here see when two articles are sold at the same selling price and in which we get a gain of x percent on the first on, on selling the first article first product and a loss of x percent see the percentage profit and the percentage loss both are same x and x so uh, then the overall loss percentage loss in the transaction is x square by 100 so we will apply this we will take an example and we will apply this formula so you can also uh, do these kind of problems by the traditional approach but it takes some time right so instead of that we can use this formula and directly uh, we will get the answer but as far as cat and uh, some non-cat exams are concerned please do not use the shortcuts i'm not telling about this uh, this formula this this one you can learn but as far as possible try to solve through the concept method by using the concept by using the uh, some traditional uh, methods because ta cat uh, doesn't test your memory it tests your intelligence it tests your application so don't go for shortcuts don't go for uh, tricks first understand the concept and try to solve any pro uh, problems through the concept based method then you can solve any problem whatever the difficulty level is even it's the basic level or the moderate level or the toughest level whatever the problem you can solve it okay so let's move on to the questions by selling a cell phone for rupees 2400 a shopkeeper makes a profit of 25 percent then his profit percent if he had sold it for rupees 2040 okay see first of all uh, just understand the question here by selling a cell phone for 2400 so what does this mean this means selling price is 2400 selling price of the cell phone is 2400 and the profit percent is 25 percent then his profit okay um if he had sold it for 2040 then he would make a profit percent of how much see we have selling price we have profit percent if we calculate the cost price then we can find out the percentage gain we know the formula uh, cost price is equal to 100 plus gain percent by 100 into cp see whatever the question is in the previous slide we discussed some formulae i think 10 formulae we discussed you can solve any problem of a profit loss and discount by using those 10 formulae no other formula is required to solve the problems 
those 10 are enough more than sufficient to solve any problem whatever the difficulty level it, the problem can be you can solve any problem by using those formulae that we have discussed so sp it's already given which is 2400 so 100 plus profit percent that is 25 by 100 into cp is the thing that we must find out so just solve it so we will get a uh, cp as 1920 and we know sp as 2400 so if cp is 1920 and sp is 2400 what is the profit what is the profit 2400 minus 1920 so 1120 is the profit and we are asked to find out the profit percentage so profit percent uh, percentage is we know profit by cp into 100 right so profit that is 120 by cp 1920 into 100 that is equal to 6.25 percent okay so meena purchased two fans each at rupees 1200 she sold one fan at the loss of 5 percent and another at the gain of 10 percent find the total gain or loss percent so meena purchased uh, two fans at rupees 1200 so purchase two fans means cost price right so cost price of the first fan is 1200 and the cost price of the second fan is also 1200 in the first case she got a loss of 5 percent and in second case uh, the gain of 10 percent and we know the formula that is sp is equal to 100 minus loss percent by 100 into cp and in this case sp is equal to 100 plus gain percent by 100 into cp see why we have taken these two formula in these two situations is we have loss percent so we have considered loss percent formula and we have gain percent here so we, we considered gain percent formula so we know cp and we know loss percent and we can find sp here we know uh, gain percent and cp right cp and gain percent and the remaining is sp that we have to find out so just substitute and uh, just substitute and we will get here sp as 1140 and here we will get sp as 1320 and what is the total sp selling price of two uh, articles it is 2460 this is the total sp and here what is the total cp total cp is equal to 1200 plus 1200 that is 2400 if cp is 2400 sp is 20 2460 then sp is more than cp how much 60 rupees more than cp then the profit is 60 right 60 rupees so what about the profit percent profit percent is profit by cp which is 2400 profit by cp into 100 that is 2.5 percent okay see the profit percent and loss percent we will calculate we will consider that only with cost price not the selling price please remember this a woman bought eggs at rupees 30 per dozen the selling price per 100 so that so as to gain 12 percent will be okay so 12 um so per dozen per dozen means 12 eggs right 12 so 12 eggs the price of 12 eggs is 30 rupees right 30 rupees um so what is the price of one egg one egg is 2.5 right one egg is 2.5 rupees and we are asked to find out the selling price per 100 per 100 eggs uh, as to gain 12 percent profit okay to gain 12 percent so 100 if one egg is 2.5 rupees 100 x is 100 and 2.5 that is 250 this is the cost price and we must uh, gain 12 percent right this is the cost price this is the gain percent then just find the selling price we know selling price is 100 plus gain percent by 100 so we have 100 plus gain percent as 12 by 100 into the cost price which is 250 just solve it we'll get the selling price as 280 rupees right this is its selling price so the selling price per 100 x must be 280 um in order to gain 12 percent profit sumit purchased an item for rupees 4000 and sold it at a gain of 35 percent from the amount from that amount he purchased another item and sold it at the loss of 20 percent what is his overall gain or loss percent okay gain or loss see uh, sumit purchased an item for 4000 what does this mean this means the cost price is 4000 right and at a gain of 35 percent so gain percent is 35 so just calculate the selling price selling price is equal to 100 plus gain percent so 100 plus 35 that is 135 by 100 into cp what is cp 4000 so 5400 is the sp 
now from that amount he purchased another item so from this so he spent 5400 and he purchased one more item and he sold that uh, newly purchased item at a loss of 20 percent so when he uses okay of course this is the selling price of uh, in the first case but he is using this one to purchase one more item so this 5400 becomes the cost price in second case right so 5400 is the cost price and uh, the loss percent in second case is 20 so calculate the sp in this case sp is 100 minus loss percent so 100 minus 20 that is 80 by 100 into cp cp is 5400 so sp in second case will be 4320 SP in first case is 5400, SP in second case is 4320. Now the CP cost price, the first um, original uh, cost price is 4000. So what is the overall uh, gain or loss? Is it a gain or a loss? CP is 4000. The final SP is 4320. Obviously it's a gain. How much? The gain is 320. 320 again, 320 rupees is the profit. The difference between the cost price and selling price of an article is rupees 240 if the profit is 20 percent the selling price is so the difference between cost price and selling price is 240 rupees right and we also know the profit percent profit percent is 20 okay so we are asked to find out the selling price so we know a uh, percentage profit percentage profit is equal to selling price minus cost price by we must calculate it for the by taking cost price right with reference to the cost price we'll take the profit percentage or loss percent by referring cost price not the selling price so the substitute how uh, we know um this difference to be 240 right so 240 by cost price into 100 and the profit percent we know as 20 so cp will be equal to 1200 but we are asked to find out the sp not cp so we know cp is 1200 and we also know the difference difference of uh, sp and uh, cp that is 240 so sp is equal to 240 plus 1200 so sp is equal to 1440 okay see the moment you see profit percentage then you must know that selling price is greater than cost price in this case we get profit only in this case so the difference between sp and cp is 240 of course we have taken cp minus sp but the profit percentage is 20 so the profit percentage is 20 means sp is definitely greater than cp see here sp is great, definitely is greater than cp a furniture sell a furniture seller sells two tables at rupees 1500 each he earned a profit of 20 percent on one table and suffered a loss of 20 percent on another table net profit or loss in this deal is did you remember the formula that we have discussed in the first slide so whenever two articles are sold at uh, same price, uh, at same selling price, getting uh, a gain of X percent on first one and loss of X percent on second one, then calculating the percentage loss. Do you remember this? X square by 100. This is the formula that we are going to use now. See here, a furniture, two a furniture, a seller uh, sells two tables, right? Table one, table two. This one we got 20% profit but whereas for table 2 we got 20 percent loss the selling price of both the tables is same which is 1500 so what is the profit or loss in this deal so we know x is 20 percent so 20 square by 100 that is 4 percent loss the formula is whenever two articles are sold at a same selling price and if we get x percent gain from first article and uh, x percent loss from the second article then loss will be x square by 100 in those situations there will always be a loss so here the loss is four percent you can directly substitute this okay a person sold his watch for rupees 75 and got a percentage profit equal to the cost price the cost price of the watch is here what is given the profit percentage is equal to the cost price so the profit if we consider uh, this to be x so cost price and profit percentage to be x as both are same and we also know the selling price a man a person sold sold means sp so selling price is 75 rupees so we are asked to find out the cost price we know a uh, percentage 
profit is selling price minus cost price by CP into 100 so what is a percentage profit we considered X so X is equal to by minus CP is X by X into 100 I think we will get a quadratic equation um, solve this we will get X square plus 100 X minus 7500 is equal to 0 okay so just solve this equation X plus 150 into X minus 50 is 0 so here we get X as minus 150 and uh, in the second case we get X as 50 so cost price won't be negative right so price won't be negative so okay, we must take consider the positive one which is uh, 50 so the cost price is 50 rupees a merchant has 1000 kilos of sugar part of which he sells at 8% profit and the rest at 18% profit he gains 14% on the whole the quantity sold at 18% profit is we can use the allegations method here we can use that method and calculate it easily see the first one is he gets 8% profit the second one is he gets 18% profit so overall he gains 14% right overall he gains 14% so just take difference we'll get 6% and 4% so the ratio is 2 is to 3 and we must find the quantity in kilos sold at 18% so we must find this part 18% 18% means uh, 3 parts so 3 by total 3 plus 2 5 into what is the total uh, quantity of sugar 1000 kilos right so, so this is equal to 600 so 600 kilos is sold at 18 percent profit a watch is sold at a profit of 20 percent if both the cost price and the selling price of the watch are decreased by rupees 100 the profit would be five percent more so the original cost price of the watch is so we do not know the cost price so let us assume the cost price to be x and the selling price whatever the selling price then sp will be equal to we know uh, uh, sp is 100 plus gain percent by 100 into cp right 100 plus gain percent by 100 into cp so 100 plus we know gain percent is 20 and we know sp as x right so 120 by 100 into x that is equal to 6 by 5x so this is sp cp we assumed it as x now in second case what happens if the cost price and the selling price of the watch are decreased by 100 then the profit would be 5% more so cost price decrease it by 100 cp that is equal to x x minus 100 this is the new cp also decrease the sp by 100 sp is 6 by 5x so just decrease it by 100 whatever profit in the first case we got 20 percent but in second case five percent more so 20 plus 5 that is 25 percent profit we must find out the original cost price of the watch okay so we have these three cp sp and profit percent so we know the profit percent uh, is sp minus cp by cp into 100 so the profit percent is 25 sp is 6x by 5 minus 100 and cp is minus of x minus 100 that is minus x plus 100 by cp is x minus 100 into 100 so just calculate this calculate and we will get x as 500 so the original uh, cost price of the watch is 500 rupees so a sold a watch to b at 40 percent gain and b sold it to c at a loss of 20 percent if C, C bought the watch for Rs. 432, at what price did A purchase it? So here we have A, B and C. A sold a watch and um, at a gain of 40%, he sold it to B. So A sold it for at a profit of 40% and B sold the same watch to C at a loss of 20%. And C bought this for 432 rupees. So we need to find at what price A purchased this purchased this watch. So if you remember in percentages we solved this kind of problems. If we consider the original price to be X, then A sold at a profit of 40%. Profit of 40 means 100 plus 40. So 140 by 100. 
and we sold it to C at a loss of 20%. So loss of 20% means 100 minus 20 which is 80 by 100. The final amount is 432. So this is 432. I calculate this and we will get X as 385.71. Okay. So this is the price at which A purchased the watch. A dealer by selling 12 apples gets the cost price of 15 apples. What is the percentage profit? If you remember in the first slide we discussed a formula which is profit percent is equal to goods left by goods sold 100. Let me write it here. Profit percent is So what are the remaining goods? Left out uh, goods 15 and 12 or uh, remaining is 15 minus 12 3 by how many goods were sold? 12. 12 apples were sold into 100. So this is equal to 25%. So the profit percentage is 25. If the cost price of a pen is 300 and the percent markup is 20%, what is the marked price? So the cost price is 300, right? This is the cost price and the markup is 20% of cost price, 20% of 300. So what is 20% of 300? It's 60, right? So this is the cost price, this is the markup price. So what is the final market price? Market price is 360. If the cost price of 15 apples is same as the selling price of 20 apples, find the profit, um, find the gain or loss percent. Here what is given the cost price of 15 apples is equal to the selling price of 20 apples. So that means SP into 20. So the CP by SP uh, ratio is 4 by 3, right? You, you can clearly uh, see that CP is greater than SP here. Because CP is 4 and SP is 3. CP is greater than SP. So if CP is greater than SP, then it's definitely a loss. So what is the loss? What is the difference of CP and SP? Difference is 1. So loss is 1. 1 unit. Find the uh, loss percent here. So no more gain here. Only loss. So loss percent is we know loss by CP so whatever we can we have to calculate the profit percent or loss person have to consider a CP not SP so loss by CP into 100 so loss is 1 by what is CP CP is 4 right so 1 by 4 into 100 so loss percent is 25 percent so these are the basic level problems of profit loss and discount in the upcoming videos we will solve the advanced problems the moderate problems and the advanced problems so our motto our um, aim is to cover as many um, models as possible as many different problems different models as possible so that you will get accustomed with all the almost all the problems by the time you attempt your actual exams you, you can you attempt your cat you attempt your snap or disnet exam right so for quant uh, you can follow any standard uh, book so after watching the videos you can solve them practice as many questions as possible if you want a specific number don't uh, leave any topic without solving at least 50 questions from that okay 20 from introductory 30 from moderate level or 25 25 that's your wish but cover as many models as possible and at least solve 50 questions per each topic after watching these videos okay if you are already well aware of the basics you can directly jump jump into them but why i suggest you to watch the watch our videos is we cover as many questions as many models as possible right so practice it and revise them for profit and loss the problem the formula that we have discussed in the first slide those formula are enough to solve any problem it can be of any difficulty level you can solve any problem by using those formula no other extra, no other formula is required. So revise it, all the very best.